I'm sorry, I just had to let a biker. I think it's the same bloke that I met earlier when I was in Wycombe. Valley. I got a feeling that might have been Jill back there, I see. Remember the little Jack Russell up there? Might have been her. She's most probably on the circuit. She wouldn't have done as much as me. So it could well be her. saying it is but I just spotted the little jack and somebody like I said I always feel like this is coming home when I come down here I do feel at home here because I came here as a child I've come here throughout my life one way or another the first time I brought Zara here she couldn't even walk she had to be carried and she wasn't a small baby either she had to be carried. I've always been here from a very young age. She's been right up on the hill there. She was probably about... I don't know how old she was. Ten months, nine, even eight months old when they were right out. I'm not really sure about Joni. I know they all came up here with me when they were sort of five, six, that sort of age group. Jolene, Duncan, and Jolene, and Georgia. Georgia, I know. I know Georgia does. She likes it up here. Um, don't know how often. They do great wood a lot, which I don't really class as the contops, actually. <laughs> it's too cultivated for my liking, too structured. I like the wildness, yeah. This is where I come. I must admit, I haven't really explored the other areas, but to me, it's, this is the Quantox with the bubbling brook. I have to start putting this sun protection on soon, won't I? I always think, though, that uh, stops you absorbing the vitamin D when you put that stuff on. I'm not going to put as much on. It gets in your eyes. It really hurts. Yeah, that's the bloke I see. I know where he's going. He's going back down that wee valley. It looks like he's really enjoying himself. Oh my God, he's done well. You've got to be fit, haven't you, to do that? So there's a way up up there I've never done. I think the bikers are starting to make the tracks. So then the walkers can follow, you see. It'd be pretty boggy at the moment, like this is. Yeah, it was like during that heat wave I was saying it was really all dried out big time down here. Yeah, it was very dry. You wouldn't have thought, we never had any water in this bit at all. But it was still sort of coming out of there. I expect people say, oh, not that shepherd's comb again we've, seen, we've been down there with Sheila so many times well I mean at the moment I'm not really putting a lot on Facebook or YouTube because there's such a lot I'm saving it and I might put the photos on and just sort of maybe one or two videos now and then I'm not really doing it religiously at the moment but I am saving every and I do play it back for myself but um it's all a record in time as far as I'm concerned. This isn't the same. It's never the same. Feelings, emotions change. A year ago I was much more unhappy. My sister was about to die. Um, she was extremely ill. Um, this time, exactly this time a year ago. Um, it was another two days I went to see her before she went like very very tired and out of it I went to see her she, no, she was asleep they dosed her up the chemical kosh 
I don't even know if she was in pain. They just give it, don't they? Anyway, because she was agitated, I think that's why, to help her relax. I mean, she didn't want to die. I know why she was agitated. <sighs> she had so much to go and going for her. <sighs> you don't feel ready when you feel okay, like most of the time. <sighs> People are snatched. <sighs> like poor Kate. Oh, she was killed in the car crash. She died a week later. They couldn't do nothing for her. She had massive internal injuries. And brain damage and everything. She, poor girl. George is one of George's besties. Chief, one of the chief bridesmaids. I think she had two chief bridesmaids, Georgia. Rowanna and Kate. Yeah, it was a bad time last year, actually. Yeah, it wasn't good last year. This year, still sadness, of course. There's been a lot going on in the family. Lots happening to all of them. Changing homes, changing jobs, losing jobs. Um, illness, injury. Children disturbed. <laughs> I've sort of kept not a low profile. I have been active in the different open out in different ways but um, yeah it ain't been easy whereas this year like I said where th there's always something coming along that's what I think, seem to think it don't seem to stop really <sighs> well, I'm going to turn off for a minute I need a drink of water there's a hunt on I've seen the hounds I just sit and wondered what that farmer was doing. They were laughing when they went by on those quad bikes. I've just seen about 12 hounds. They're all running ahead, barking, chasing the deer. Proper hounds. I've just seen people on horses up there. So there is a hunt. God, I couldn't get the camera. It's funny, I just couldn't get the camera to come on. When the dogs were coming by up the top there, I got a dozen of them, proper hounds. They were barking as well, and they've gone now, chasing the deer. Just I couldn't the camera went, I couldn't get the camera to come on. It's weird, and I've just seen somebody on a horse a minute ago, a couple of horse riders up there. <coughs> I took a picture of the quad bikes going by earlier. I don't know if they were shaped with the hunt or... <coughs> they were in a hurry and they were coming this way. That's horrible. That's like almost ruined the end of my walk now. Knowing that those dogs are chasing a deer, so they could come this way, yeah. They're quite big hounds. I just thought it was somebody with a dog that didn't want to stop barking, first of all. It was just there by the fords. And they went, they were up the top there, a dozen at least. And people on horses. Two, another two people on horses were saying hello to me a minute ago. I didn't know there was a hunt on, except I was a bit suspicious when I saw the. Um, people on the quad bikes in a hurry one turned around and gave me a huge smile all right I'm just gonna put it on um, standby put it back on yes uh, I'll just carry on with the end of the walk I just 
Two people just passed. He just laughed when I said there was a hunt on. I didn't want to engage, just laughed. Like one of the blokes on the trike. <coughs> Quad. Turned round and gave me this huge smile. I didn't know there was a hunt on at the time. I thought it was just farmers. Look at those sheepies, that. You just wondered if the... <coughs> If the hands could turn on you a few. They couldn't find the deer. <laughs> yeah, these quad bikes were hammering along. Really hammering along they were. They weren't like bright red or anything. These were like army khaki coloured. Oh, here we go. And here are the dogs again. Listen. They're on the scent of a deer. I think there's like a lead dog that does the barking. If you hear a gunshot in a minute, it means they've caught one. Apparently it's not stag hunting though, they go after the does. Here, listen. That's, that's them. God, I hope I don't get attacked. Yeah, look, I can... Yeah, they're going back that way now. Yeah, they're going back that way. Yeah, I can still see some dogs. I can see a dog is sniffing all around. Sniffing all around up there. I can hear the quad now. I can hear the quad again. Hark. Hear the quad? Be coming back down here again. Here it comes. There's that quad master again. Stopped. There's another one coming. The quads have arrived. Even the bloody sheep look scared. Look at them over there. I don't think if those quads can get here. They go up through there, I spat. Yeah, so the quads have turned up down there. Two quads. It's 
Something's going to happen around here in a minute and tell the sheep look absolutely petrified. Look. Look at the sheep. There's something going on right around here because those quad bikes have stopped there. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. 